people who write books and and put it all together because it's a process because I'm trying to write two right now and I'm terrible. So with that, let's bring in Jeff Atwood, who's written a book called Need to Know for Graduates. It's a very good book and the backstory is fantastic. Jeff, good to see you, my man. Hey, good morning, Jill. How are you? I'm doing quite well. I need to know for graduates. My God, I need to know for I probably need to read that book now for my life. Uh, explain the backstory of how you came up with this book. Sure. It, it's really, you know, I go back about seven or eight years ago and our, our one of our, our middle daughter was beginning to, to start her um, senior year of high school. And, you know, as, as a parent, you kind of get to that point. We sort of go, you know, I think I've, I've taught them this and I've taught them that I'm taught them something else. You get to the point and you sort of go, oh, my gosh, this is it. This is the last really the last go round I have with her. And so I locked up. And so as she began her senior year of high school, I sent her, I decided I was going to send her something that she needed to know every day. And so I was literally every morning before school, I would send her a text. You know, hey, Mackenzie, this is something you need to know. You need to know this, you need to know that. And it was really my way of trying to put a bow on parenting, right? You know, in, you know parenting can be pass or fail, right? You know, are they in jail or not? Maybe. But so I, I wanted to make sure that she knew all these things we'd spent the last 17 years trying to tell her. And, and that, so I sort of put all that together. And then as I began to send those texts to her, I was talking to my friends and they said, you know what? I need to tell my kid that. Or I need to tell my kid that. And so I just began to compile all those into a book and, and we published it, um, did a self-published thing a few years ago. And then, you know, fast forward to the last couple of years and I had some opportunity to begin to, to, to develop this whole series of need to know books related to just some important advice, things that, that we've sort of learned over you know, 30 years of marriage and 25 years of parenting and 25 or 30 years in, in the corporate world. Did you keep, was there a sort of constant message throughout all these? Was there a, any main points you try to hit on all the time? Yeah. I mean, it was, it's interesting. And I was talking with a, with a, you know, I say kid, they're all kids right now. Right. I was talking with a young man yesterday and, 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 and one of the themes that's in the book that, that, that has kind of been central that my girls even laugh about now is the idea of just show up. Opportunity follows availability. And I, I was listening to you guys talking about all the, the horoscopes and, and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And, and I think that, that so many times, you know, in life, we, we want to make, we want to have that perfect next step. And, and it's not always going to be the perfect next step. And so that was my advice to the girls is when you see an opportunity ahead of you, you know, whether it's personally, professionally, relationally or, or whatever the case may be, just 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 show up, just be there. You know, and so I see I see things with with our girls. We have three daughters um, and, and the oldest, Madison, is with us. She's um, got a series of, of disabilities related to an illness when she was young. So she's with us. But then our, our middle daughter, Mackenzie, lives in Burbank, California. She's pursuing this incredible career in animation and voice acting. And then our youngest daughter, Macy, lives in Florida and she's an equestrian. And so so all of the girls at different points in their lives ha have just you know, they said, all right, I see a little bit of an opportunity here. I'm going to sort of wiggle in here. I'm just going to show up. And because you're in the room, you know, as our as our good friend Alexander Hamilton would say, <laughs> you're in the room where it happens, then opportunity comes from that. That's fantastic. All right. Have you ever seen something where you were observing from a distance and they took your advice to heart or something that you've said to them that they did like, Oh, okay. Cause you know, I've got a son who's about to turn 16 mm -hmm. and I'm the same way, Jeff. I just, I pound information into him and try to do, make him do the right thing. And every once in a while you wonder if you're doing the right thing and then he'll do something. You're like, my God, he did listen to me. And it's amazing. Listen. Isn't it? Yeah. You look back and, and you go, Oh, all this time that I've been pouring into him, right. all this this emotional thing that's been so important to me, you sort of go, you heard that, that <laughs> you heard that, that was, you know, and so I mean, they're, exactly, and and the just show up is, is is truly part of that, you know. I I, I see opportunities, um, you know, for my daughter who's Macy, who's, who's an equestrian, she's she's in Florida, so she's riding and training these really cool horses, and and I see that the opportunities that she has because she showed up early. She was the first one in the barn or because she went that extra step. And, and it's, it's so fun to see their careers develop. You know, now, you know, our girls are a little bit older than, than, than your son. But as our girls are now into their careers, you, you know, you you want them to do that. I, I was I was talking with a friend the other day and he said, you know, why do you, you know, why are you writing all these advice books? You know, you're 
you know, there's, you know, you can't go to college to say I'm going to be an advice book writer or anything like that. Right. It, it's just, it's just, it's just literally, I said, I think, I think at the end of the day, we as human beings, you, me, the intern, everybody, we want, you know, people to win in life, right? Maybe, except for maybe the Baltimore Ravens. We don't want the Baltimore Ravens. To win in life. <laughs> But, but everybody else, you want to win, you want to be successful. And so, um, you know, <clears throat> you know, you and I are probably of the same generation, early 30s. Right. And so yeah. we, we get to our we get to this point in our lives where for, for years and years and years, grandparents would have a tremendous impact in their grandchildren's lives. Right. You know, and, and oral history was a big part of that. Some of that's changed because of distance and some of that's changed because of the communication and the internet and all this kind of stuff. And so I just wanted to be intentional about things that I thought were important, you know, and I think that's important um, for, for kids, for parents, for, for spouses, you, you need to be super intentional about things that are important. Like, like you were just saying with your son, you know, if you see things, see him doing things that you've talked about, well, I mean, some of that is through osmosis, right? Some of that he'll just sort of go, oh, I, I saw dad doing that and that's cool. But I think you have to be intentional with your words. And that's sort of been the, the goal in, in in my career and parenting, all this is, is you need to be very specific and, and intentional about the words you use because words have meaning, words have value. And, and if you're intentional about that, then hopefully it gets seated deep in your kids like that. Uh, I agree 100%. Uh, Jeff Atwood, the book is need to know for graduates. Uh, another theme in this, and you're big on transitions, high school to college, college to life, job changes, this and that. Uh, and all too often, Jeff, you know, when our kids graduate, like, all right, on the college, take care. But you're big on making sure people and especially your kids know the importance of transition, aren't you? Yeah, I think you're you're exactly right, Joe. I mean, it, it's interesting because sometimes we, we want to say, all right, we're in situation X or in situation Z, but the reality is everything in life really is a transition, right? I mean, it, 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 there's always this flow in between. And I think that it's really important, again, like I said earlier, to be intentional about these things, you know, and you want to make sure that as you move from from situation A to situation B, you, you sort of know what to expect. Like when, when we took Mackenzie down, to, Mackenzie went to school in Atlanta. And so we drove her down to Atlanta and moved her into her dorm and got her settled. And, um, you know, and we kind of we kind of drug this thing out as long as we could. Right. You know, it got this transition as long as we could. And finally, at the end of the weekend, you know, it's sort of like, all right, well, we can't stay here. You've got to stay here and go to school. And also, so we got in the car and headed back to Nashville. And my wife and I were, were in the car and, and we were just super quiet the whole way. And then we both started crying. And then we got to exit 318. And I'll never forget. It's exit 318 on 24 coming to Nashville. And we pull off. Right. We hadn't said a word. We hadn't pulled off. We walk into this convenience store and, and we buy literally every piece of junk food that there is in this whole <laughs> store. I mean, we, we bought ho-hos and beef jerky and ices and little donuts and all the stuff you would you would. I mean, you buy a little bit of that on a road trip. Right. But not the. I mean, we literally and we both she went to one side of the store. I went to the other side of the store and we showed up at the front with like this giant arm of stuff. And it was like, oh, my gosh. This is a huge transition in our life. You know, this is, it, it sort of was, it's funny that, you know, Funyuns were the, the thing that defined transition for us. But we got to the point and said, this is a huge transition. How do we manage this with our daughter? Because it's a big deal for her. How do we help her think about, you know, I, I need to maintain you know, my connection with my parents. I need to sort of maintain this gratitude for my life. I need to work hard. I need to have integrity. All these things are are important and, and can get lost in transitions if you're not intentional about them. I love it. Here's the book. Need to know uh, for graduates. It comes out April the 5th. April the 5th. So just, I, you know, I Googled it last night. You see the information, but I Googled to make sure it popped up and it popped up and there you go, Jeff, this is fantastic, man. And hope you sell a ton of books. And yeah. I like the tagline, little things make a big difference. That's, that's really strong. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the, the chance to talk about it. Okay. All right. And go, go enjoy some pie today, Joe. Go enjoy thank some you. pie. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Jeff Atwood, need to know book for graduates.